it's Melanie and this is my September home fragrance empties. <laughs> I just recorded my beauty empties for September so those will be uh, listed down below for you in the description box um, if you're interested in watching that video. Um, I definitely finished a few things in the home fragrance department this month so that's what I'm going to share with you guys now. I keep my home fragrance empties in this little green bin here just on the side of my desk and whenever I finish a candle or a wax tart or like a hand wash or something like that I put that in this box to be able to share with you guys. So um, one of the first things that I finished up this month is one of the Ambi Scents um, fragrance wax cubes. Now I purchased these at my local Fred Meyer. This is sort of like the wax tart that um, they carry there. <laughs> um, they carry a couple of other lines, but this tends to be the main one. They have a lot of fragrances within this line. Um, and that's what that looks like. So again, it's called Ambi Scents, and this particular scent was the scent Intrigue. I've actually had this for quite some time. Um, it's, it's a very like musky, romantic, woodsy scent if that makes sense. Um, it's nice. Um, it's probably not one that I will end up repurchasing. I find for some reason that certain fragrances within this Ambisense line, um, the wax tends to smell waxier. That's probably the dumbest thing that anyone has ever said about a wax tart, because um, it's wax. But um, if you are used to using these things, you kind of know that smell. Like It's just kind of like a plasticky wax smell. And like the the fragrance itself um, smells nice, but for some reason, like that plasticky scent just carries through it, and it kind of ruins it a little bit. So I won't purchase this one again. Um, bummer, because it could be really really nice. So a little bit of a letdown there. But I finally finished it. I was like, I just need to get rid of this. Um, I also finished up. Uh, Vanilla Cookie Crunch from Better Homes and Gardens. Their wax cubes. I love this one. This is basically an all-time favorite for me, and um, I buy this one now in the larger size. Um, they do carry this in kind of the supersized wax cubes container containers that they have. Um, this smells so good. I equate this to the um, sugar cookie from Scentsy. It's kind of that same idea where. It's a really nice one just on its own. It literally smells like a vanilla cookie. It just smells good. Um, and it's a great one to mix with a lot of other types of scents. So if you like mixing different wax cubes together to kind of customize your fragrance, this is a good one to have um, to add a bakery note to anything, basically. So love this one. This one will be repurchased time and time again. I finished up a Blackberry Bramble Tea mason jar and I am almost actually done probably within a couple days of finishing up the three wick size of this. I ended up loving this. I didn't think I would. Man, I love it. Um, it has a very um, like fruity scent to it but also it has like the fall spices added in there. So it's got that cinnamon a little bit of clove and sugar um, along with the blackberry. It basically just smells like a blackberry like um, cobbler when it's burning. It's it's delicious. It's an awesome transitional fragrance. If you've never given this one a chance, they are still carrying it at Bath and Body Works right now with a lot of like the fall scents. Give this one a try. I promise you like the likelihood of you actually really liking it even though you're like, eh, I don't know about that, you would probably actually like it. I didn't think I would, and I sort of kind of actually fell in love with it. I only have one more three wick and one more mason jar, and I'm getting a little bit of anxiety about not having more backups. I'm trying not to get any more fall candles, but the next two for 22, if I can find these on sale, and they will still have them in stock at that point, I will probably end up grabbing just a couple more. It's really, really nice. This is an all-time favorite. <laughs> I know some people think this is really simple and boring, but this is Cranberry Chutney from Yankee Candle, and I love it. I have loved this since I can remember the year 1997. Um, I've told this story a million times, but basically I was working at the mall 
and it was right after I graduated from high school and one of my uh, customers came in and she had purchased this scent from Yankee Candle and I could smell it wafting out of her bag and I was like what is that she told me on my lunch break I went down there and bought my very first uh, cranberry chutney candle and ever since then I have been purchasing this particular scent I love it it reminds me of my mom's cranberry chutney that she makes at Thanksgiving um, it's just it's a fragrance that I can't get enough of I hope they never discontinue it if they did I would probably have to buy at least 20 or 30 jars <laughs> So that I had enough to last me my, well, the majority of my lifetime. <laughs> These burn forever. I mean, this was a candle that I started probably the year before last, because um, this is usually only a fall fragrance for me. Um, so they really do last forever. Um, Yankee Candles burn about 150 hours in this particular jar size right here, which is the 22 ounce. Um, I just, I love this. It's, it's a staple. I'll get it every single year. And holy moly, when does this ever happen? I finished a second Yankee Candle. Again, these burn forever. This is sugared apple. And I burned this sucker so much for the last couple months that I actually finished it. That is unheard of in Yankee Candle land. That is how much I love this candle. I have several backups of it. I bought quite a few of these during the semi-annual sale. Um, I believe I got six of them for like 60 bucks amazing deal. Um, I will be purchasing more of this the next time that I happen to catch it on sale. It is a beautiful sugared apple scent. That is the only way to, ex it's like a baking apple that is sprinkled with sugar. It's a beautiful transitional scent. You could totally burn it in the summer. This is meant to be like a holiday candle. It's got like holiday labeling, but I burned it like throughout July and August and September and it didn't scream like Christmas time to me. So oh, I just love it. Um, I have another one already downstairs and I, I just love this. Um, I have done in-depth reviews on both of these bad boys. So I will link those down below for you guys. If you're interested in hearing more about the notes and burn and all of that fun jazz. Um, I've also done an in-depth review of the Blackberry Bramble Tea. How about this? How about I actually link any reviews of any of these products down below for you? Okay, this one I never did do a review on. This was the Oil and Wax um, Twigs and Berries. So the company is Oil and Wax, and you can find them at oilandwax.com. This was a gift from my brother and his then-girlfriend last summer. Um... This is a soy candle. Yep, this is a soy candle. And let me tell you, this sucker took me forever to burn because it was just so strong that I could leave it lit for about five minutes before I was like choking out on the fragrance. Um, this doesn't really remind me of twigs and berries. I don't know what this smells like. It's just like a crazy fruity perfumey scent. I can't even put my finger on the notes. Um, I don't know that I would purchase another one of these again because as much as I like really crazy strong candles, this one just, it was so strong that it would like give me a headache. So, um, and it was so small and I, like I said, I got it last summer and I honestly like, it took me like an entire year to burn it because <laughs> I could only do it in like little tiny chunks of time at a time. Um, I had it in my downstairs bathroom, and I mean, it, the smell is, is okay. It's not something that I would have probably picked out for myself, but um, it was it was a nice gift to receive from somebody, and I appreciate the gesture. Um, I think I'm just kind of picky about my scents. So, um, yeah, if you've never tried these and you look for, are looking for really strong soy candles, try the oil and wax. Give me a second to look at that. And then the last candle that I finished, um, this was like a half finished candle that I found underneath my kitchen sink and I was like, what the hell is this doing down here? <laughs> Why am I not burning it? Um, espresso bar. I love espresso bar. Yum. I only have one more backup of this candle and I'm sort of relieved that with the holiday collection they repackaged it as gourmet espresso. So I will be stocking up on a few more again. What I really like about espresso bar or now gourmet espresso um, slash harvest coffee <laughs> it's been repackaged several times 
is that it has like a chocolate note along with the coffee and I really just enjoy that and um, I just I love this when it's burning I know some people think it smells like burnt coffee it doesn't to me um, I suppose that different batches could smell different but I just have always loved this one and I had so many backups of it and I can't believe that I'm down to like the final final one <laughs> that's always kind of sad when that happens especially when it's a fragrance that you're afraid they're not going to bring back again but thankfully like I said I can go get a few more which I always have it on hand um I don't think I've ever done an in-depth review of this one but I will do one coming up soon so um, if you're interested in the gourmet espresso I should probably have a review up on this in the next few weeks so you can decide then whether you want to seek it out or not and then the last thing that I'm going to share with you is I finished up the last of my Market Peach Deep Cleansing Hand Soaps. I mentioned in my last empties video that I won't be purchasing these Deep Cleansing Hand Soaps anymore because they're just messy. I switched over to the foam. I'm a convert to the foam. <laughs> um, so yeah, which works great and I always thought I would go through the foam faster but that's really not the case. So um I like Market Peach. It's one of my favorite favorite like spring summer fragrances from Bath and Body Works. So I will repurchase the fragrance again, just in the foam this next go around. So um, love Market Peach. I even love the Market Peach candle. So those are my home fragrance empties for the month of September. Please tell me what you finished down below, um, or what you're in the process of finishing up, and. I'm going to have quite a few empties for the month of October, I can already tell you, because I am just going through um, tarts and wax cubes and candles like crazy. I have them lit pretty much every single day now because fall is here and this is my favorite time of year to burn candles. So I'm excited to share next month's empties with you for sure. So I hope you are having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.